This week on TGC News, Hornady plays a game at just the tip, tracking points sucks and marketing, and the first ever TGC Worldwide Photo Contest. Ari Factor Tactical now offers some of the most useful targets around. Whether it's the IQ, the kill zone, or the essentials target, you won't be short on drills to run at the range. To get 10% off your entire order, click the Ari Factor link in the description and use the code TGC10. Welcome back, my name is John Patton, and seriously, does everyone try to carve pumpkins with guns now? I, I can't believe this is still a thing. Anyway, this week's first story is about the hype that Hornady was generating recently. They were building up to something huge with the statement, we change everything on October 27th. Well, uh, what they did come out with was pretty cool, but <laughs> really? We change everything? No, you fixed a product that you make that was subpar. What am I talking about here? Well, Hornady introduced a new bullet design called the ELDX, which stands for Extremely Low Drag Expanding. They actually did a really nice video on the subject, but the long and short of it is that if you've been using their AMAX bullets and having issues with inconsistency at range, they figured out why. Apparently, the polymer tip that they used previously was melting in flight and causing all kinds of wacky issues. So what's the fix? Along with a host of other changes, they've changed the polymer tip material so that it won't melt. <laughs> Yay! On top of that, they're claiming that these new bullets will be able to expand consistently at all kinds of ranges, which is pretty cool. However, I'm not really one to believe a claim like that without seeing it firsthand, so hopefully someone will get a hold of some of these and do some testing on video. One of the other claims they made is that they can consistently place the polymer tip on the bullets way more accurately than normal open tip match bullets. I've seen this firsthand, the open tip match bullets kinda are really uneven, it's ridiculous. So much for match, right? <laughs> anyway, I think the only bullet technology that plays on this same level is CNC machine bullets and they tend to be way more expensive. And I know all of this is pretty underwhelming, but on a positive side, they recognized that there was an issue and they went above and beyond testing it. I mean, they had a freaking Doppler radar. <laughs> yeah, Doppler to test their bullets, amazing. So they figured out that they had an issue and then they figured out why and then they released an entirely new product line admitting the issues. This is not a common thing, guys. Hornady, you have my attention. I'm waiting to see more testing. And in devaluing the memory of a legend news, the Hey We Still Matter I Promise company known as Tracking Point has come together with Taya Kyle, the widow of Chris Kyle, and they're putting out a challenge. If shooting champion Bruce Piot can beat Taya on a tracking point with uh, his own gear, I guess it was a military rifle, they didn't say which one, then he's gonna win $1 million. They even made a little video about it. And we started talking about precision shooting and I shared my dream of making a gun that would make every soldier Chris Kyle. It starts out with a little company history and then the founder drops this gem. And as Taya Kyle says, uh, she feels like the spirit of Chris lives on in our guns and I'm proud of that. And there's more. American Sniper Shootout is a partnership with Tracking Point and the Chris Kyle Frog Foundation to raise awareness for not only the technology that will help these warriors, but also to raise awareness for things that we can do for these marriages of first responders and military members. So this is literally just a Tracking Point promo with Chris Kyle's name attached to it. Classy. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna help families and we're gonna change really the face of war. Let me repeat what he just said. Remember, this was all in the same sentence. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna help families and really, we're gonna change the face of war. Okay, hold up. First of all, are you helping families at all by putting $1 million on the line for a competition that may only bring in a couple thousand in attendance? No, you're not. You could give that million dollars to those families and skip the crap. And seriously, bro, if you were gonna change the face of war, don't you think that would have happened before the company was run into the ground? Or perhaps this high stakes shooting competition that has nothing to do with war is your ticket. Listen guys, I don't know Chris Kyle, and I certainly don't know anyone from either of these companies, but good lord, they look like fools doing this kind of crap. What do you guys think? Am I being a wet blanket about this? Leave a comment below and let me know how you feel. All right, TGC Worldwide, <laughs> that's my new pet name for you guys. It's time to stop putting liquid paper on a bee and listen up. 
we're gonna have some fun. Every month going forward, we're going to have a themed photo contest. At the end of the month period, I'm gonna give away a small prize pack to the best photo as voted on by you guys at home. We'll be doing that at the end of the month. In order to be entered, you need to post your picture on the TGC Facebook page or on Instagram, you can tag each picture with at the gun collective and hashtag TGC worldwide. This month's theme is simple, EDC. Post a picture of your everyday carry gear, whether it's super creative or just a really cool setup. We all want to see it and we're all gonna vote on it. Again, post it on the TGC Facebook page or you can tag me on Instagram. This is gonna be a lot of fun guys, send it. This week's friendly fire question is from my buddy Joe Comfort on Instagram and he asks, what do you think is the next big innovation for rifle scopes? And that's a great question. I talk about innovation a lot on this show, so this will give you guys a look at my perspective. Honestly, I think we're already starting to see the beginnings of the next level. Electronics being integrated into scopes is clearly the next move. Whether it's automatic range finding, automatic adjustments for wind and elevation, or something more complex like the tracking point system. We're gonna see some wild things in the next few years. And I know I crapped on tracking point earlier in the show, but that does not negate the fact that the concept behind those rifles is freaking incredible. Anyway, Joe, I hope that helps. I think electronics merging into optics is gonna be the next big leap forward. My friendly fire question to you guys this week is a fun one since this episode has been so freaking salty. If you had $3,000 and can only buy one rifle, one handgun, and one shotgun, what are you gonna buy? Post your answer below. If you want your question answered right here on the show, you can post that over on facebook.com slash the gun collective or post it on Instagram and Twitter using hashtag friendly fire. The Connect QD M-Lock mounts from Kinetic Development Group offer the fastest and simplest way to get your M-Lock attachments securely fastened to your gun. With three slot Picatinny and bipod mounts currently available and three more versions coming soon, you'll be sure to find the mount for your needs. To get 10% off your entire order, use the code TGC10 at KineticDG.com. That is it for this week's show. Guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed the episode. If you didn't, let me know down in the comments below so we can talk about it. Do not forget to subscribe. You won't want to miss a single week of the show. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Hey, did you watch last week's show? Or maybe the one before that? And did you subscribe yet? You need to do that. Click right here to subscribe. Do it now.